Hey guys, it's Olivia. I am so happy to be back here today. I'm going to be sharing with you five apps I use on a regular basis to up my Instagram game. If you've been following me at all recently, you know I've been putting a lot of work into my personal branding with both my YouTube channel and my business main message. I have been working hard with the photographer and just kind of all around getting my Instagram photos to be cohesive and brand consistent and it's been a huge you know, marketing platform for me and my business this year and it's paid off so much. I've increased my followers by a significant amount and I just really love Instagram as a platform. I've been using Instagram since Instagram was first released to the public back when I was still in college. but. I just recently kind of honed in on a strategy for Instagram that has been helping me post consistently and I think it's elevated my quality of posts to the next level. These are the apps that I use and I'm just gonna run through them quickly with you. I'm gonna do like a little screen share thing. I'm gonna pop over to one side here and put a little uh, video of me scrolling through the apps and showing them to you. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first app that I use is called Um Un and it's kind of hard to say Um Un, but I love this. My brother's girlfriend, Lane, I'll link her vlog in the description box, but she recommended me this app and I have been enjoying it so much. There are so many apps out there that you can like use grids and kind of schedule your posts, but for some reason this app clicked with me. I used to use the app later and other things, but Um Un has been wonderful for like rearranging posts, getting a feel for what my grid is going to look like, and really kind of brainstorming what kind of themes I want. This is very neurotic in a way that I did not used to have time for, but when you are producing a lot of content for Instagram, such as product photography, photographs of yourself, you can kind of plan things out and get organized and sometimes play with like what the long-term feed is going to look like. I definitely could get more neurotic about this, but I really love this app for it. I'm in this app every single day, multiple times a day. This is a life changer. I also, you can subscribe to it. I just use the free version and I find that that's totally enough for me. I don't use their scheduled post functionality. I just kind of make my grid and plan it out and then post to Instagram from um un. But it's just kind of a way to like store all my images in an organized, cohesive way and just kind of be more mindset about my aesthetic and what my game plan is long term. So the next one you've definitely seen on other people's stories before and you might have been thinking, what is that app? What are they using? And this is called Unfold. This app is beautiful and it is semi new, probably in the last like six Four months I've seen it kind of started to become trendy within all different types of accounts, both business, personal blogs that I follow. Uh, it is basically a way to make really polished, beautiful Instagram stories. You can make collages and grids, insert text. It just like in a way elevates your posts on your Instagram stories. I use this not every day, but when I'm posting to kind of like promote a YouTube video or a new product launch. I'll play around in the grids and it is really cool. Like you can make these kind of stack stories. You can pre-plan things. This would be wonderful if you're planning out holiday um, Black Friday sales or any kind of big promotional reach you're doing for your business, your blog, whatever you might have. I really think this app is great because you can really harness your brand's aesthetic and use it within the apps. I have bought some of the template packs. I think they're only 99 cents, which to me is super reasonable and I recommend it wholeheartedly. The cool thing about this app is it opened up this creative world, which I didn't know I was craving, and I've made some really cool little montages and stuff for my Instagram stories that I'll insert here that I'm really proud of that I think promote my YouTube videos in a really strong way. So number three is Dropbox. And I know that might sound really basic and not like rocket science at all, but Dropbox for me is the unified platform where I put 
all of my photographs from every single shoot that I either take personally, I have a photographer shoot for me, I catalog it all in Dropbox. This is important because I can access it on my desktop computer, my laptop, my iPhone. I can just log on to Dropbox, download the photos to my phone, and then I can upload it to that um, un app, whatever you I might need. It is beautiful, it is seamless, it makes the confusion of sharing files so much less confusing and pretty much effortless, which is so important, especially when you're dealing with a lot of content. It's also a way of backing up your files to the cloud, which is still vague, and I do back up files to external hard drives, but it is nice to know they're all within the cloud and I can access them literally from anywhere. So number four is again, not super complicated, but it's something that I found myself searching for and I wasn't really sure where to turn to. And it is called Record It. It is a screen recording app for your iPhone. I use that for like promoting things like Sometimes I'll do it to show people on my Instagram stories that I'm getting close to selling out of a certain product or I'll do it on a kind of website where I want to show you where I bought something or I'll do it for a YouTube video. I think it's a really handy source to have and something that's good to have in your toolkit and knowing that you can visually show people things on Instagram that you're doing on your phone. I just think it's really handy. It is a pretty no-brainer thing, but you know, when you're looking for an app for it, it can be kind of complicated and that's what I personally use. Number five is basically one of my favorite photo editing software programs on my iPhone. The one that I'm going to recommend to you today is called Color Story and this has been out for a few years. I've been using it for a few years and I really, really enjoy it. It is just a way, Instagram has enabled a lot more photo editing properties within their software, but sometimes it is nice to use a third party app. Like Color Story has all of these filters that other bloggers have made, that their team has made. It is just wonderful. There are some that you have to pay for, but I think if you find ones that are worthwhile to you and your needs, it is worth the investment and can really elevate your photographs. They also have really controlled um, settings that you can kind of tweak the color, saturation, different effects you might want to add if you want to go more stylized. I love Color Story for that reason, and I recommend that to you. Um, other good ones are like Visco Cam, I've used off and on throughout time, but I really love Color Story, and I think you can get a lot of bang for your buck there, especially if you're taking photos on your iPhone and not uploading it to Photoshop or Lightroom on your computer. Uh, color story can really get your photos to a place where they look really wonderful. I have also found myself shooting photos on my DSLR camera, syncing them to my iPhone unedited and then editing them within color story or visco cam or what have you on my phone because the software is just so beautiful and wonderful at this point. We are so fortunate to have I just I think about when I used to when I learned Photoshop back in like 2004, 2005, how that was such great technology, but the fact we have like light years more just on our cell phones is mind-boggling. So that being said, these are the tools that I've been using to elevate my Instagram game. I've made some videos about how I'm thinking differently about Instagram and social media in general, which I'll link in the description box and in the cards if you want to check them out. But I'm having so much fun. Please consider following me on Instagram. My handle is at main message and I share so much stuff there and it's kind of an extension of this channel of my small business life and I don't know, I'm just having a lot of fun and I think that's the best way to use social media and YouTube and all of those things. But yeah, have a great day and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.